I mean, it's it's fantastic to get the Flanna Moon here to Listall after uh, hosting 14 All Ireland Flanna, uh, last one in 2002. And isn't it fantastic that we're able to bring another Flanna uh, back to Listall, this time Flanna Moon, uh, which is the biggest of the provincial Flanna's around. And uh, it's absolutely tremendous. The crowds here at this present moment, we are absolutely over the moon with the whole setup. We're planning this for the last 12 months. Uh, we have 23 venues. We have nearly oh, just under 5,000 competitors. The entertainment is going on all weekend. We have the fringe uh, entertainment going on since last Tuesday. Uh, and just the whole logistics of the whole thing is just phenomenal, really. It's, it's, it's a fantastic event from a music point of view. It's a fantastic boost to North Kerry uh, and to Kerry in general. And from a financial boost, it's a fantastic boost for North Kerry in general as well because um, it's bringing in a lot, a lot of people into the town. They have to spend money. If they only buy an ice cream, it's money in the kitty. So it, it's a win-win situation for everyone, and it's a fantastic to bring these people in and get the support, uh, we'll say, for the business people who have supported us. And that's very important that they they are getting something back from this player because the sponsors and the, the business people of List all have been fantastic to us. Well, of course, this is the monster player, the provincial player, and uh, the qualifiers from all the monster counties are here today. And out of that, then you get the qualifiers who will go forward to Flakjol and Herden in Ennis in August. And of course, List all is particularly special because we had the All Ireland Flakjol and List all on. 14 occasions, so people of a certain age will be going back on Bohri in the Swainch, and there's that kind of an atmosphere of a flat town here. For the young people, it's very important because the mere fact that they're competing here means that they have qualified in their own county, so they're already county champions, if you like. And of course, if they're successful in going forward to the All Ireland, that's like getting to Crow Park in a way, you know. But whether they get out of Munster or not, it's not the biggest issue. I think the biggest issue is they're enjoying themselves and they're meeting their friends and they're swapping tunes and they have a great social life and the parents are here with the younger children as well. So all of that from the Flack Hill point of view is important. There's quite a number of, we'll say, the old, older uh, musicians that have come and support the All Island Flag down through the years and they have actually come back again this year to visit Listowel because they haven't been here in, in many years and just for the nostalgic uh, place it's the home of the Flag. everyone knows it's the home of the Flag, uh, and because it has been held here for so many times has always been associated with the impromptu sessions. Therefore, they go in, they play, win or lose, they come back out, and they all meet up then for a session. I've often said they come straight out of a competition centre, they open the instrument cases, they sit on the windowsills and they play music. As well as that, of course, you have the whole social media uh, phenomenon at the moment. All of these young musicians are keeping in touch, not just with the Munster uh, colleagues, but they're actually being able to keep in touch with musicians they've met from other parts of the world as well. So there's a, a great global aspect to the flair too. You know. To get away from all the excitement, we visited the epicentre of the Fla and the Moon to meet Secretary Asunta, who was hard at work. My job regarding, well, Corey in the Moon first, being secretary, is the normal secretarial duties organising the various events we have during the year. The regard to the flag hole, I suppose, the work starts as soon as the, this year's flag hole starts, the next year's flag hole committee has been set up. Um, I suppose the main duties is the competition element. The competition element is very keen in Munster. We have almost 200 competitions and we have to coordinate the results come in, qualifying results come in from each county. Mm -hmm. And from here on, our qualifiers today will go forward to compete at Flacco and Heron in Innes. The results, checking all the adjudication sheets, we need really to have sort of a um, quiet area. We check all the additions. We check that the qualifications are correct, that all the sheets are signed, that everything is in order. 
there is quite a lot of routine. Competition is so keen in Munster and even at county level, we have to be fair to adjudicators and most of all to be fair to the competitors. There are many, uh, most competitions are highly competed for. So we check all um, documentation and we think it's fair to all competitors and teachers that nobody else will see their sheet except themselves. They can get a copy of their adjudication sheets and in the interest of fairness. When you do something and you want to achieve something to have it as accurate and as professional um, as you want, you have to put a bit of effort in and I suppose then the more you put in, the more you sort of feel that you achieve something. We have a, a good um, Calling the Moon group and officers and we all strive to have it as efficient and as better perfection that we can do. I'm late again, I'm always late, I never can be on time. The course of non-attendance is a faith that's often mine. I'm up in time, I'm dressed in time, I'm ready and on my feet. But in the time intended, there's no trip I can complete. The tank is full, I've checked the aisle, the tires, they're all okay. Today I'm sure and certain that there won't be a delay. So off I set, but once again, I find out to my cost. I'm late for my appointment, for it seems that I got lost. So now, my fellow motorists, I offer to you advice. This sat-nav should be treated as a dangerous device. My colleague nearly drowned me where the Shannon meets the sea. So I threw her out the window now. I'm late and lost but free. Thank you. Not all the events for the FLA were competition based though. The town was awash with entertainment and fun. The largest and maybe most popular of which was the Cayley on Sunday morning. Just after coming, I'm just arriving from Cork. We'll be dancing over the rest of the afternoon and most of the night. Uh, there's something about set dancing that gets into your soul. It's, it's like a religion. It's actually better than religion. You're, you're much happier after them when you set dance. It's one thing every child, every child should be taught how to dance and how to play music before anything else is involved. And because it'll give them a very, a very solid base for the rest of their life. It's a music, music it feeds the soul. You can't make music. Listen to the people that are enjoying themselves. Everybody's happy, everybody's laughing. It should be universal. We came out for the set dancing and it's a local Cayley band, the Johnny Reedy Cayley band. So he's a huge following, a huge support and it's part of um, the, the monster Flan Moon. I've been doing it for the last 10 years or more. Uh, since my family grew up, um, it's an outlet. We go everywhere, every weekend. We go to the great club every Tuesday night. John Chambers was there for my first dancing teacher. And TJ Nilligan from Castle Island is there now. And they're brilliant to us. And we have a great group, haven't we? We have, absolutely. We have about six sets every Tuesday night. I haven't been dancing now in a while because of the back problem, but I'm back now. And uh, it's unbelievable stuff. There's Kayleys every weekend. Yeah. Um, I would travel all over the country and the world. Yeah. I've been to Europe, I go everywhere set dancing. It's a great group of people and you make a huge amount of friends as yep. well. And we all know each other. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they look out for you. Everyone looks out for each yeah. other. And yeah. it's great, great. fun. Yeah. Great exercise, great outlet. Yeah. Um, it keeps the mind occupied. And it's been proved it's very, very good for things like Alzheimer because it's repetitive. You're learning steps. And the Tuesday night in the Gale again, it's great to support a local venue 
and to support local teachers as well. Oh, thanks very much. And we love Irish TV. Absolutely love Irish TV. <laughs>